If you've ever tried to create animated SVG with any sort of complexity, you know how challenging it can be to create all of your animation with code. This is because we don't actually see what it is we're doing as we're writing the code. So having a timeline to be able to visualize what it is you're doing as you're creating it has a huge advantage for designers and animators. So I built a plugin called Snap SVG Animator for Flash that allows you to build rich SVG animation with the Flash timeline. So I'm going to go in and pause the animation. You can see the output actually generates real SVG. So we can go through each of these elements within our SVG content and actually inspect them. And it's not just generating full sprite sheets. What it's doing is actually drawing all these contents and, and storing them in groups like movie clips and actually updating their position as we animate. So here you can see the actual Flash project that was used to create this animation. You can see I can scrub through and see some of the animations happening and even use nested movie clip animation. So here we have our guy bouncing and I can go a little deeper and actually see him running within that movie clip. Um, so you can see how you can create really elaborate animations with rich nesting and tweens and other kinds of great effects that are supported by the Flash animation tool and use those to create really complex SVG animations. So now I want to show you how you can create a simple animation using the Snap SVG Animator plugin. So you simply start by creating a new document, and once you have the plugin installed, you'll have the option to create this Snap plugin document. So we simply do that, and then we can edit our stage like we would normally, and just create content like we would in Flash. So I can create this ball, which I'll turn into a movie clip. Then we'll animate it, create some keyframes. We'll just get have this ball move position and scale up. And then we'll just turn these into a classic tween. So this is the kind of animation we will see. And then I simply test. You can see our animation running right inside of Flash. And if we inspect this, you'll see that it's actual SVG content. You can see here's our movie clip, um, which has its circle drawn inside of it. And it's actually updating its position based on our animation. So that's, that's it. That's pretty much how it works. So to get the plugin, what you do is you go to Adobe's add-ons portal. And this is at creative.adobe.com slash add-ons. Then here you can simply search for Snap, or if you want to narrow it down by Flash plugins, um, but this should get us the results we need. Then here you'll see the Snap SVG Animator plugin. You simply click on that. And then up here, I already have it installed, but it'll have a free or install button here. You simply click that and then it'll proceed to install the plugin through your Creative Cloud um, service. So this will automatically install it within your application so you can build animations using the plugin. I also wanted to add that this project is open source on GitHub. So if you want to submit issues or requests or even add to the code or fork it and add your own features or branch, um, feel free to do that. All the source is up on GitHub at github.com slash cjgammon slash snapsvg hyphen animator.